So. How did the new colours feel? Yeah, it feels good. Um, obviously, not the first time I've worn them, so I feel good in my own. Does it feel good to be back in Queensland? It does. Weather's pretty nice up here. It's um, nice and warm today, so looking forward to enjoying, enjoying the um, beach and whatnot over Christmas. How what? did it all come about for you to come back to um, It's sort of, I guess, Kevy was the one. Uh, he just gave me a ring. I, I came through the facilities, uh, had a meeting with them last year, started last year, just sort of had a bit of a look around. And uh, yeah, went on to, um, obviously I was off contract, so just developed into talks and then yeah, luckily enough it all worked out and I ended up here. What is it about the Bronx that drew you up here? Oh, uh, you know, obviously coming home and uh, being around some family is going to be really good for me and I think they're, they're, you know, they're a great club and you know, they're definitely on the art. They've got some amazing young talent here so I just want to be a part of it, definitely be a part of the, yeah, the journey that they're about to go on. See the Sorry, yeah, you see the potential then? Yeah, hundred percent. Um, even playing them last year, um, it, the game we played against them uh, in Brisbane was so tight. And after that game, you know, I thought, you know, there's, 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 they're not far off here. And and I think, you know, once they got Reynolds, was a massive signing as well. So, um, yeah, I was keen to jump on board. What do you hope to bring to this team? Oh, hopefully, um, just my game and. I guess what that is, just the hard work side of footy, just the kick chase and then all the little efforts. So I'll be focusing on that and hopefully we can get a few wins along the way. I know you've got to jump on you by a couple of weeks. Do you feel like you've got some ground to make up? No, nah, I reckon I'd still beat him on the skin folds. So <laughs> as we were speaking about earlier, he's, uh, he blows out of it in the off-season, I don't know. So <laughs> no, nah, he's, um, yeah, he's, you know, that's the type of guy he is. He's here to work hard and uh, that's what I love as well. So can't wait to get in and rip in. What did it mean? Yeah, I felt a bit guilty, to be honest, that I wasn't, I felt like I was missing out. Um, Pre-season, as tough as it is, it's sort of where you make those friendships and create that bond. So I felt like, yeah, I was missing out a little bit, but luckily enough, there's an army camp coming and I'm not going to miss that. So looking forward to it. Yeah, what are you making out of that? Yeah. Like training the deep end? Yeah, oh, I love it. I've done a little bit of training back down in Sydney with uh, the great Jeremy Lattimore and Luke Lewis. So I was training with them most days and, um, yeah, I think I think I, my body my body will be right to go. It's just um, looking forward to it for the mental challenge more so. So you secretly didn't hope the borders stay closed, just so you could. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. Nah, I couldn't wait to get out of that place. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not the first time you've been the Broncos. Obviously playing 20s here. Um, that was 2012. Like, how much has changed in that time? You, the club, everything. Yeah, well, that was a lot. Fair bit's changed with me. I was a fullback back then, so. <laughs> Not quite as fast as I was, but the club's obviously changed a lot. You can see the facilities are, are amazing, and they're already amazing over there. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, a lot, lot of a lot of the people working behind the scenes of the club being reshuffled around, and um, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of the older boys that were here have, have obviously moved on. So it's a, it's it's a total different outfit here now with with the young young guns coming through, and it's going to be awesome to see what they can do. Um, no, I was actually a Manly fan as a kid, so, uh, but obviously you always have a soft spot in your heart for, for the Queensland teams and um, yeah, I guess, guess once I started playing footy then um, supporting other teams sort of went out the window. <laughs> the youngest of four boys? Yeah. How much of an influence or motivation were they to play footy? Yeah, well, they all, they all played footy. Um, I was pretty lucky to be able to play play a fair bit of my footy with uh, Liam, my eldest brother, so yeah, definitely, they definitely guided me along the way and there was a few backyard brawls, but <laughs> um, yeah, no, we, we, we are all pretty happily brothers, we don't fight very often, <laughs> but uh, when it comes to footy, we, we tend to scrap a bit. How did you feel departing Penrith after a near perfect year? Yeah, it was good. I, um, I felt pretty content with um, the time I spent at Penrith, um, they're a great club. Uh, great people at the club, which is probably you know the, the main thing. And I'll have friends; those those people will be friends for life. So um, we've got a pretty special special bond there. That you know, obviously winning the premiership, so that'll last forever. But yeah, I thought it was definitely my time just to sort of move up here and, and get a bit closer to home, and, and hopefully go on to do the same thing, create the same type of memories with the Broncos. Have you brought your 
bought your ring for Sean Talia? <laughs> no, no, I'm scared that Renault will try and steal it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said when he signed, um, you were really keen to jump on board, and then obviously you, you did sign. Um, when you signed, was there any communication? Did he, did he reach out to you at all? Has there been communication since you both signed with Broncos or while? Yeah. Yeah, not, not so much, too much communication. Um, I already knew Renault, and uh, once he signed, it definitely, yeah, you know, like I, because I think he was he was juggling up between Cowboys and, and Broncos too, so uh, it's awesome to have him here, and, and uh, after the game, I remember speaking to him, and uh, his, his mind was already on the job job here next year, so that's that's a positive sign. He's uh, probably favourite to be captain. I know you said previously he wouldn't mind the job, so you're going to go out of it. Oh, I don't think it matters too much. Um, he's definitely a leader, and he's he's um, you know he's he's definitely got the runs on the board. So I'd, I'd love to have him as my captain. Have you had conversations with Kevy about like pushing for it, or what happens? No, I haven't haven't really. Um, Kevy's actually left me alone this off season. It's been pretty <laughs> nice, but oh, I've rang him a few times just to see how the boys are going, and um, we haven't talked too much about the leadership stuff. I guess we'll. Um, We'll just do it with actions, not words, and I guess it starts this weekend with the army camp. I feel like it's one of those questions that all of us keep asking. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why we're so much motivated. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand why we are? Not really. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it matters who the captain is as long as we're winning games. <laughs> From a family support point of view, mate, they obviously would have been decked out in Cronulla kit and then Andrew's <laughs> kit. It's going yeah. to be easy to get them in Broncos kit, but they jump on the bandwagon. Some of them already Broncos fans historically. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think um, you know, there's plenty of plenty of people out in Charleville that are already Broncos fans, and uh, I've been lucky that my family just follow me wherever I go and uh, to their own expense. <laughs> so they've got a few jerseys that they might be selling if there's any Penrith fans. Hit my family up. But uh, no, I, um, yeah, I'm very lucky to have have family I've got and they support me everywhere I go. So this year's Christmas present sort of menu. Just yeah, go straight past next door. <laughs> No, I'll um, I'll um, sort them out some some gear maybe in the new year. <laughs>